Sadiq Yusuf came oh so close to earning the biggest victory of his career on Saturday, but Edson Barboza would not be denied in the UFC Fight Night 230 main event. Yusuf comes out of the gate on fire in this featherweight fight, hurts Barboza badly, nearly gets the stoppage on multiple occasions, but Barboza showing his insane resiliency, durability, and heart in staying in the fight. And it still seemed after that first round it was going to be Yusuf's night, but Barboza turned it around round started adding up the points adding up the shots and it seems like Yusuf got a little bit out of his groove a little bit lost and he wasn't able to ever turn the tide completely back in his favor going to be a learning experience most certainly this main event fighting someone like Barboza uh, knowing how close he was to winning these are all going to be meaningful things as he pushes forward in his career and at only 30 years old this being his first headliner I don't think all hope is lost on this guy by any means he's clearly very talented and has a lot lot going for him and I think he still can make noise in this featherweight division but certainly a setback in his trajectory towards being in the top 10 of this 145 pound division and now just a little bit of a reset figure out what went wrong here and apply it to the next fight and a matchup that I think would make a lot of sense between these two would be Yusuf against Dan Ige I think that has another fight of the night written all over it. Excitement, entertainment. We know how Ige fights, what he likes to do in there. We know now especially what Yusuf likes to do. So you put these two together, makes a lot of sense. Ige, I'm sure, will be hungry to rebound from his recent loss to Bryce Mitchell. You put those two in there together, and I think you have guaranteed action, and the winner gets back on track and has some momentum again under their belt in this weight class.